But anyway, uh, that's kind of been my only. I mean, like everybody I've come out to has either been like cool or yeah, whatever. Uh, that seems to be the thing. I mean, like you. I've had a lot of rather negative ones. Now I think about it. Well, you want to elaborate? Sure way. I mean, people need people need to understand. I mean, like like I said, it's not. And most people that listen to our podcast do yeah. get it. They know it's not all candy cane and rainbows. Well, like I'm gonna be flat out honest. <laughs> because no, not all football players are homophobic, but it, it, stereotypically, it, it kind of are. I did, however, date a homophobic football player who decided, after I'd been out for two years, that I was lying and that he could fix it. Oh, it did. Uh, that kind of like those schools. Did not end well. Right? Those those therapy sessions uh, where people get fixed. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the uh, conversion therapy. That's right, conversion therapy. Where, sadly, some of the tactics that I think Aether re- is referencing are used. I'm sure. That's, 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 uh, you let me know who that was, I'll, I'll take care of that. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm getting aggressive on my podcast, gosh darn it. I know these kids are This is the most blunt I think I've ever flat out been with family. Oh no. Well, and, and, and Chloe. And, and Chloe, and, you know, 300 other people. <laughs> <laughs> if we don't end soon, where are our filters are gonna go? Yeah, well, we've got 15 minutes left. We'll be fine. We can, we, we, we can manage. We've got this. We've got this. Yeah. Well, no, look, and I'm trying to wrap up. I, I really yeah. am. I, I'm starting to get into that segue where yeah. you know we've had negatives and and, and people will have negative experiences. It's, it's just part of the process. Yeah. Um, whether you are transgender or cisgender or non-gender or or anything, there is going to come something in your life, um, where somebody else is going to disagree. And there's gonna be, it could be political parties. It could be whether you're a Sagittarius or a Leo. <coughs> Ugh, I, 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 Leos. <laughs> hey! I don't like Leos. I do not like Leos. Your brother's a Leo. You my act like I like him. My you're, name's you're, Leo. You're I feel insulted. A Leo. He's also colorblind and left-handed. Colorblind? Yeah. <laughs> and walks with a waddle. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Ace I, Learning. I've known the man for 60-some-odd years. I think I know at this point. <laughs> um, anyway, but you know what I mean. I mean, what type of books you read, what type of books you don't read, whether you watch TV or don't. I've gotten picked on for not watching television. <laughs> Kai, got picked on, Kai got picked on in school because the bottle of water that she brought to school was a quote-unquote rich kid bottle of water. Uh, it was Fuji. Oh. <laughs> and the kids at her school... We're like, huh, why are you drinking rich? Are you too, just too good for us? I'm like, wait, wait, you're picking on a person for being able to afford better water? Like, I really? The like, that's thing what I've you... been picked on for is my boots I wear every day. But you, you see what I mean, though. Yeah. I mean, like, the thing of it is, is that whether, like I said, whether you come out as transgender or you come out as uh, a cisgender or you, you like pink and you're a boy or you're like, you know, blue and you're a girl, you're a welder and a girl or, or, or whatever the case is. If it goes against a social norm in, in any ooh, ooh, demographic, ooh. somebody's going to have an issue. Yeah. Somebody's going to pick. Even if you were in the social norm, people just cannot seem to be nice to other people. I noticed that. Yeah. It's sad. But the, the thing of it is, and, and what, stop it. <laughs> what I want people to take away from this podcast is they, it, don't flip the bird, even if it's a turkey. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> oh, no. I, I just flipped the bird. Oh, no. The oh. bird flipped. Neck broken. Oh, no. Oh, it's so sad. That's sad. So sad. Very sad. Anyway. Time for Thanksgiving. Okay. <gasps> There's turkey in the fridge. Anyway. It's honey cooked. Holy great googly moly. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> like I was trying to say. Put the lighter down. <laughs> <laughs> I am in danger. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Uh, you know, like, like I'm trying to get across is that, and like you guys said, unless you are sure or, or unless you're unsure of whether or not it's a safe environment, you know, don't come out. Yeah. If you feel like it's a safe environment or you feel like it's, your, your life's not in mortal danger, people will disagree with you, and you, or you have a safe place to go after you come out, try it. Yeah. But you're not going to, you might get a slew of, of congratulations and hays and, you know, and then there's going to be that one person that just tries to mess with you for the rest of eternity. Yeah. Yeah. You know, brush those people aside. There's always going to be, they're miserable with themselves. They need to be miserable with you. That's kind of how that works. If they're going to be miserable with me, you're getting locked in with me. Good luck. It's going to suck. It's like hell. Prison. Good luck. 
Hey. Been, been there, done that. Give I got the back, llama Kevin. now. I got Kevin is my llama. Give him back. Okay. So, hey. Horse around after the fact. All right. Okay. Oh, shoot. I still got to do something else tonight. <laughs> <sighs> look at the look you're getting. Boy, if those ears could turn any redder. <laughs> Don't spit on my laptop. <laughs> Uh, your laptop's okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're good. Did you spit or swallow? I swallowed. Okay. Ah, oh, good for you. Yeah. <laughs> it was Mountain Dew. Get your minds out of the gutter, people. What's the matter? Uh, my mind is completely. I fine. was talking about the listeners. I was talking and about them. And them. <laughs> All right. Is there anything that you want people to remember from this podcast? Have a safe place to go after you or before you come out. Like always, have safe places. Have a support system. Mm-hmm. Make sure that if something was to go wrong, that you are going to be safe. At have a jump end. bag. Yeah, have a parachute. Parachute. I like that. A jump bag is like a bag where you stick all your, you know, emergency bear clothes and stuff in. Like a get out quick in a hurry bag. But a parachute's a good thing too. What are you coming out and jumping out of a plane? Yes. Uh, I'm gay. You know that song has a completely total different meaning now. <laughs> I'm coming out. I sent my dad that to come out I the first time. The it didn't work. You it just did what? <laughs> yeah, I sent my dad that and I got good song. <laughs> no, dad, I'm gay. No, you're not. God damn it. Okay. Um, what about you, Ace? Um, like said, have a plan B, and if you can't come out, there's nothing wrong. You're not exactly hiding it. It's a safety precaution. It's not like it's going to go away if you hide it. We support you. If no one else does, we do. Yeah, at the end of the day, if nobody else says, hey, I, su- I, I support you, I'm proud, I do. You, yeah, you've got at least the people of Let's Talk Trans to support you. <laughs> I almost said there were five of us. I was counting and the, the llama. llama. It was sad. And Kevin. Yeah. The llama. Kevin, Kevin. And the llama. <laughs> he with, loves with you. pink feet. Are they they're, pink? They're holographic. Oh, they're hol- Oh, yeah. I, I hate when they're imaginary. Oh, no. No! No! <laughs> His feet. He's a cripple. <laughs> um, what about, what about you? Um, just that if you do decide to come out and people make fun of you for it, just remember that you actually know who you are. They might not. So they might be picking on you because they're dealing with their own things, but that means they don't know who they are, maybe. That, that's, that's a really good point and a, and a, a very good, I, I agree with that completely, you know, um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not even going to go yeah. on a tangent on that because I could spend another hour doing that. Please yeah. don't. No, I won't We need do to that. get them home. I do, yes. All right, so um, this has been episode 13 of Life Talk Trans. Oh, Ooh, yeah. what a lucky, lucky number. number 13. <laughs> I love the number 13, genuinely. And we uh, have been covering coming out. What made you come out? You know, how did you do? What yeah. did you not do? I don't know what we'll talk about on Sunday, but I'm sure we we'll will. We'll find out the day before. Find out next episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been dying out. to say that. You have no <laughs> idea. Find out on the next episode of... <laughs> You can't right. see, but gay trans hands or jazz Great. hands. Oh my god! <laughs> gay, right. What did you call them? Gay trans hands. I did. All right, I'm, you know what? I'm just gonna. We're cutting yeah. you off. We're You're, done. You're, You're done. done. You're no done. No more. No more. No more. No more. Thank you for catching this episode of Let's Talk Trans with your hosts Gabe and Leo. Hey, we really appreciated you, and we hope that you appreciated us. If you like what you're hearing and you want to hear more, feel free to like us on Spreaker or Spotify or wherever it is that you pick up your podcasts. Until next time. Later. <laughs>